welcome back to Undefeated at Locals. Here today we have a special little video for you that Edgar came up with here. Edgar, you want to tell them what we're doing? Yeah, today, uh, since the draft rules have been officialized, uh, we wanted to run through the draft process with you guys. You know, it's uh, It can be scary for new players to, to run draft, and we don't want that. We want everyone participating in every event they can. So we're going to run through a draft video and kind of show you guys the, the how-to, the, the way to go into it. Yeah, uh, me and Edgar are kind of veterans of doing this. We have Grant here, who's actually, like, has a little bit of experience. But a he's couple. A, still a pretty newer player to, to the draft element of the game. So you'll get to see from both sides just how easy, how much fun it can be. So let's rip these bad boys open. Let's do it. For Jasco official rules, which is what we're going to be using today, uh, when you rip your starting pack, you always pull the character card out of it first. You, the character is always yours out of each pack. And then you pick your, your little draft pick and then pass the pack to the right. So we're going to be doing that. Show you guys how Jasko wants it done. Yeah. I still love this little UGM thing. Really smart idea. Yeah, that's genius. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, I got a bright future. Woohoo! It's insane. Dang. It's crazy. <laughs> Six packs in total, guys. Um, obviously, you get two cards per pack now. One being a character, one being your draft pick. Very easy once you get it going to make a 40-card deck. For their rules, for especially for newer players, it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to just draft one of your very first characters like ripped open. Of course, the outliers being if you ripped Fat Gum 1, Definitely don't recommend drafting <laughs> for that character. There's a couple that are a bit rough, but literally everybody else, if you rip Kirishima 3, just draft those symbols. You'll have a really good time. Yeah, makes that process super simple. And there's like other ways you can do it too. But yeah, like... for sure. All right, rip pack one, number one, boys. Let's do right, it. Here we go. Yo, How welcome. dare you speak this into hey, existence? Yeah, so, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh, oh, oh. Two has two characters? Damn, we have Lock Lock, so uh, we might be drafting like Earth, I think, guys. I think we're going to head over to Earth, because we also drew Lock Lock's attack as what we can pick for our draft pick. I believe so, by, by the rules, I must keep this one, and this one would be my choice. Yes, yes, exactly, yep. And that's yes. kind of cool as well, because uh, yeah. then you have, like, you start with two options, right? I'm so mm -hmm. excited for this guy. But yeah, so uh, for me, it's really easy. For Edgar, it's really easy. Now he has two character options. Grant's a little bit harder, because you really probably don't want to draft Fat Gum 1. No, definitely so, not. Uh, the recommendation, something that Edgar and I have, like, really talked about before doing this video, trying to think for you guys... Evil's probably, like, obviously the symbol of choice here. Like, you should mm -hmm. probably just draft your first card as, like, something with evil on it. Because there's a lot of evil characters. And it won't be as impactful if you rip open your second pack and pull somebody like Lock Lock. Cool, now I only have one card that doesn't right. work. Yeah, yeah. Or even better if you draft an evil and all card. Because, like, Tabe exists. There's yeah. a bunch that... Yeah, unfortunately I didn't rip anything for evil either. So, um, probably just going to go with something on all or earth. Um, probably Chaos all. is also a pretty prevalent symbol. And then the other thing that we want to discuss that we can kind of discuss with pack one here, guys, is I understand some people will want to shiny draft, and that's okay too. Yeah. Again, it's like six total cards that you're going to be like picking not towards your character. So it's totally fine if I have Lock Lock and pull something like this, especially since this does share a symbol with my character. In draft, you don't have to ha your cards don't have to share all one symbol. They just all have to share a symbol with your starting character. Mm -hmm. For me, though, I'm a bit more of a, I want to have a good experience. I want my deck to work well. So for me, I'm going to pick not my shiny card, but just a common card <laughs> because it has my actual face on it. Yeah. New players have a, a hard time. It's like, for for the, for instance, like oh yeah, I have to pass this broken psyche along. Remember, guys, this this is like a thirty cent card at best. Yep. Um, you're gonna see a million of them by the time the season's over. Uh, and it may even get passed back to you depending yeah. on other picks in the draft. Yep. Yep. Happens all the time. 
So yeah, we each have our first pick, so let's pass them to the right here. Alright. Non ranged, man, super easy. We'll kind of walk you guys through the better picks as well. Um of course, we're looking for things like one and zero diffs. Of course, we want those in our deck. Um, and you want a good mix of, like, attacks to foundations. A lot of the time in a, in a draft in the past, I've focused on, like, one thing and then the other. Yeah. So, like, if I can, I'll focus on, like, really nailing out my 13, my 14 attacks that I want while hitting up a few foundations, like, key pieces that I find here and there. Like, we found... This guy, Seal of Approval, not only is that the shiny card. See, a shiny card was passed to me, guys. A shiny card was passed to me, Seal of Approval, and happens to have, like, a pretty okay effect, something that I want, and shares a symbol with my character, so it's the best of every world. Yep, yep. Same, that Crystal Choke Slam really pairs with uh, Rakia. See, so. there we go. Unfortunately, I'm still uh, drafting a symbol versus for a specific character. <laughs> We get our first one diff here. We're gonna take Red Riot to the coolest. Thought we were focusing on the attacks. Apparently, we're gonna focus on foundation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take food. Food's good. Food. Um, oh, hey, these look familiar. Broken Psyche's made its way back to me. Familiar. I think for me, it almost has to be. No, no, actually, we've already used this card in, in Sealed. It was very good in Draft. It's also going to be pretty solid. Another one diff. So, yeah, this is the general idea, guys. We're just going through. Some of us had better luck than others, and we'll show you Grant's <laughs> luck as it progresses through these packs. And, and that's the thing. Like, at, at the end of the day, you, you can still use these cards, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, worst case, I play Fat Gum 1 with no Fat Gum 2 and have an interesting time. We're going to take the attack here, really kick off our attack lineup a little bit. Whee. Got another one diff, there we go. Almost changed my mind. <laughs> really look at all the cards, guys. That's another good, uh, that is important. good yeah. thing to learn. Oh. I don't hate Big Appetite here. That one has a symbol that's also in my card. Yeah, that's another good thing to learn is like once you get towards the end of the pack, you're going to have several cards by the end of a draft that just don't match any symbols with your character. Yeah. Like I believe what I'm experiencing right here, I'm having I'm holding three cards in my hand. Not a single one of these have a symbol that I want to draft for. So at this point you're just picking a random card and passing it. Whatever you want for your collection, I guess. See? Look at this. This shiny card was passed the entire time. So we're taking it from that. I want Broken Psyche. You got it, boss. <laughs> All right, guys. Pack number two. There we go. I like to organize mine, attacks, foundations, character, cards that don't match any symbol. That yep. way, by the end of the draft, when you're really on deck construction, you haven't wasted all your time by like, oh, let me resort cards now. Hey, we got Tabe. There you go. At least we have an so idea of something to draft Deku, for now. And we got Rewind Throttle, guys. What does Tabe do? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, switching, switching what you're drafting for is still possible in pack yeah, two. Yeah, for sure. But so we've got it makes all it a little bit more difficult. Evil. Absolutely. Well, that doesn't play. That doesn't play. All of those play? All of your yep. attacks? Yeah. Every attack plays, so you know. See? That works out, that works out. No. 
No. But those are good. Oh yeah, guys, we'll show you uh, a character swap here. We'll show you that it's possible. <laughs> really, really just trying to iron out the fears of, of this, this new set of draft this system. It is kind of rough, don't get me wrong. They're... It's rough with luck, right? There's a there's yeah. a world where, e even in my sealed, you guys can watch my recent video, my first two packs that are ripped open were both Fat Gun 1. Th that world is still possible, obviously, in a draft setting. Mm -hmm. That would be awful. There's not much work around to that. You'd really, at that point, want to talk to you, your tournament organizer and iron out a plan for the that worst-case scenario happening. Other than that, though, the system works just like it always has. It works great. Yeah. Something I've learned the hard way is uh, always double check that your character's not keyword blocked. Yes, uh, yeah. my character <laughs> is now keyword blocked. <laughs> We're going to take detailing the plan. Oh, we got a Tabe <laughs> attack. Guys, they're handing me every plummeting punch. You're welcome. Don't hate draft and sealed guys. That is terrible. So <laughs> uh, the the best like the the what your draft is really focused on is how good your community is. Thankfully, this card games community is usually super solid. So you'll have a guaranteed fun experience at locals, really, regardless of what happens. I'm terrible at draft and sealed formats and always still have a blast. So We're going to take Heroic Assistant. It still has my face on it and shares symbols. <laughs> we need some, uh, some one diff foundations on symbol. That'd be great. We're going to take Card and Frenzy. It's Combo Fury. We have Furies. It's a punch. It has all of our keywords and one of our symbols. Guys, again, keep in mind, you only have to draft for a single symbol on your character card, which is, like, the fun part. Yeah. The best part about draft is knowing that you can go home and make a version of the deck that you just yeah. drafted. Yeah. For newer players, it feels super fun to just be able to go home and do that. I have every four diff. Guys, this draft, look at this draft for me already. We have five Fortif attacks. They're all of our keywords. They're all of our symbols. This is how easy and fun this is. And this is switching off of pack number two. It's obviously less possible to switch when you're at pack like number seven. That's yeah, going to yeah. be actually impossible. And again, worst case scenario, your LGS should have a plan for that. <laughs> down to the last couple of cards that's just how it works hey I'm yep. down to the last two cards and I still found a card with my symbol on it you me cool. there you go oh, you, you, bastard. Gave me, you gave me junk yeah this is garbage <laughs> alright pack number three is this pack oh. three yes it sure is. is I have a rule a house rule that if we pull an XR character you have to switch that so if this happens to be a draft I'm actually just screwed on pack number seven Nedure. Old Amajiki. Can't really switch to him by this point in the draft. <laughs> Nedure would have been fun to have on pack one or two. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, see? she doesn't share a symbol with anything we've already been drafting for. So um, she's probably not going to get played for us. I think we're taking vital impact here, guys. Five diff shares life with us. Has Fury Punch. We need some zero and one diffs on symbol for us. Um. Uh, there's not many on here. Anything with top? Oh, we got an attack with Tabe's face. We'll take that zero diff. We became more. Hey. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he took it, boys. It was the best card in the, in the pack for <laughs> he me. He took it from me. I see you over there. I see you. Um, well, no ones or zeros. Yeah, on again, symbol. guys, like, uh, once again, like, uh, this is an ultra rare. Obviously, a very big want for a lot of people. This card's very good. Vast hybrid Chimera Kraken. 
Um, He's also got one. That's I also have an ultra true. rare. I've got bullet punches. Perfect. I am going to take it because it is Fair. on symbol. Um, and it's a four diff attack. Yeah, Unfortunately, what I was it's a two check. Is, uh, you have an ultra rare that you could choose. I have a one diff that I can choose. For me, I'm going to choose the one diff. That's just my playstyle. I want to do well in this event. More often than not, though, if this has been passed around, this one diff has been passed around, you could just take the ultra rare. More than likely, you're going to get this back. So yeah. I was trying to get a one diff. Um, that's what I actually was drafting for, but there's none on symbol in that pack. Get wrecked. We have Ooh, do we have any one diffs on symbol in here? We sure don't. We have no foundations on symbol in here. I want this oh. guy. I don't really need more attacks, but we can't play these found Oh, there's a foundation we can play. It's a two diff, but it's all right. We need foundations. I feel like we went the wrong way with passing this. We can just flip I feel like we did the next time. Oh yeah, fair, fair. We probably did. No foundations on symbol. We'll take barrier shield. Probably taking this guy. So you guys look, Vast Hybrid was once again passed back to me. There's not really anything else on symbol that I want to take, so I'm just going to take Vast Hybrid. Three passes later, and I still have both the one diff that I wanted for my deck and the ultra rare that I wanted for my collection. Which actually, in fact, Edgar is just going to steal from me. Sure but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take Hamid. We're going to take the Void Boy there. Is that the case? No, that might not be the case. Probably taking that, actually. Um, sure. We get to take the 2 diff there. So you guys pack number two, and we're already like really even on our attacks to foundations. Our attacks are really getting close to kind of completing for us here. None of these things matter for us. This shares a symbol, but doesn't share our keyword. We could use it. I'm still going to set it off to the side because I'd really like to just be on symbol and on keyword for this particular deck. But that's the great thing about these characters is you can play cards that are on symbol but off keyword uh this actually works for us and i love this card guys <coughs> draft your barrier shields please oh. please draft every copy of barrier shield ruin your opponent's day this doesn't work for me at all <laughs> <laughs> all right next pack pack number four now a pack four yeah guys six packs total we're all looking really good on our characters um Man, yo, okay, see, this is the cool part. This is Nezure Wave. Uh, this is the shiny card and also works for my character. This has life and fury. This card's nuts, so we're just immediately drafting the shiny card. Hey, we pulled Hojo. He's on two of our symbols, so that's worth looking at towards the end. And, he is strict um, But he is uh, very keyword locked, so yeah. yeah. And we got an XR, XR Practical Studies. Oh, there we go. It's not on symbol for us, so we're just not going to take it. Good. This way. I will be. Oh, damn it. Hey, we got some one I mean, diffs on symbol. It, I'm, still, I'm just taking it from him, so. <laughs> we got some one diffs on symbol, finally. So, yeah, guys, we got to take the shiny card and have it work for us. You did not keep your character card. Oh, I did not keep Rappa. This is what I've sealed. <laughs> See, I'm already messing up the rules, guys. <laughs> uh, we're going to take body rejuvenation here. We have... We're going to take a zero our character. And see, look at this, guys. XR passed around. Again, as long as you have, like, a decent community. Work out trades afterwards. Trades are always the funnest part of these events as yeah. well. Right after the... the Last round fires off. You just get to trade with everybody. But we have practical studies. More this is dips. a card that I want for my collection. It's a card I want for my deck. Yo, rewind smash also got handed to us. Man, you guys are you guys are done. It's over. Well, I'll take another one diff. 
We're finally getting some ones and zeros. See, there you go. Well, our hopes and dreams have been dashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one div, but it doesn't play. Um, we might just take the throw here, guys. It does share a symbol symbol. If we run out of attacks, something generic that you can throw in your deck and not feel bad about it is anything with the throw keyword. Oh, why would we take that? that in this format, you're not really going to have much worry about people hating on throws. Yeah. So, Do we take the six diff? I don't think we do. I think we take the four diff. Once again, shiny that. drafting with our characters. See, guys, you can just pick up every shiny card. Super easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fury. This Works with us. We're solid. That six diff came back around. <laughs> I think there's two of them rolling around. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's another one right here. We're I not going to take another. This, but it's meaningless for us. Uh, Happy birthday. One sec. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything here that works? I guess this. Here you go. Oh, this works for us. Yo, this None also of works these for play. us. None of these play. What did we get? Something we can't play. Alright. Second to last pack here. Let's go. Let's see what we have. Yo, we finally pulled an XR point blank shot. Point blank shot XR. It's not useful for us, but that's Hold fine. Self-doubt XR. We have a U Hojo. We got Chicken Kick. Hey, Chicken Kick's a good one. And Sir Night Eye. XR? No. Oh. I wish. Like Just shiny. regular. But it matches two of the symbols we've been drafting for again. Passing two shiny cards now. He's down. pretty probably good in this format. This We're probably still going to play Tab A, though. See, the shiny doesn't match anything. We do need more zero diffs, though. We're going this way. Yep. Yeah. You want to alternate? Oh, yeah, always just yep. swap every pack. Oh, the self doubt XR yeah. is super cool. It's not on symbol, though, so we're I not taking it. I think practical studies is the play here. Pass through walls is on symbol, but so is energy section. See, so you guys already have 11 cool. attacks. Like, this is like the great part of draft. Compared to sealed, sealed. Uh, if you watch our video, I drafted Rappa. I only had nine of my attacks with my keywords. I now currently have eleven. They're all keywords that I need, that my character procs off of. They're gonna give me another pass through walls. How dare you? Oh, plummeting punch. Yo, I now have twelve attacks with my keywords. <laughs> I'll take confession. Chicken kick came back around. But we want those zeros. Here we and take ones. the strength of a pro. I'll take all my events or night eye. Well that pass through walls came back. That'll happen. Alright guys, chicken kick came all the way around to us. Take so we're, we're sniping the card. None of these symbols matter for us, so. We're just not going to let Marvin have pass-through walls again, because hey, it's on symbol and we're going to play it. Um, you keep giving me Ryukyu's agency trainees, and this card's nuts. <laughs> One of the reasons I want to play Take Death another Foresight. Uh, sure, we'll take this, but we're not going to use it. We'll take this, but we're well, not going to use gonna it. We're going to take that XR self-doubt, but we're not able to use it. And we're not able to use that either. We are able to use this. Get ripped, guys. Oh, thank you. All right. Last pack Three magic. Right, here we go. Last pack magic. Three chrome rares, right? Come on, rejuvenating smash. I need you. Got it. All right. We pulled fat gum one. <laughs> this is where the chrome ware is, right? Yep. Yeah. Sure is. So now it's uh, not where the chrome pack, is. With the last pack, guys, you really want to oh, be aware of where your deck's at currently. So I'm myself at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attacks. 
So I know I want one or two more attacks, and then everything else should really just fall kind of into place for us, because we're already at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 non-attacks. So everything else is kind of just going to fix itself. We'll take... Sad to see twisty surroundings go, though. This is an ultra rare that I'm very sad to pass around. <laughs> That's a good card. It's a very good card. It's on symbol. Um, um, yeah, we're going to take the twisty surroundings. Don't make any of these options. For the most part. This is Charge Fury. I don't think I'm going to need it. Now we're gonna do this one. We're gonna actually do that one. Sure. So we can take the two diff here or the one diff. We're not really playing attacks out of our hands, so we're gonna take one of the two diffs, guys. We're gonna take all my dinosaur night eye. Larceny. this. And crystallize. Sure. Well, we can't play sure. that foundation, so we'll take... We don't want the two check. Mm -hmm. Sure. all the packs remember we can also use the promo it's legal to use in our decks now it is on the infinite symbol and the only restriction is that it has to be a set five undaunted raid character which of course that's what you will be drafting for so stay tuned guys we're going to get all of this sorted out here and then we'll show you our constructed decks welcome back guys thanks for sticking around in the video all three of us built our decks, and yeah, so this is what 40 card draft looks like. Obviously, you can go higher than 40 cards in the format now. It's 40 minimum, not maximum, but we all chose to go 40. That's how we all like to play, and yeah, Edgar, kick us off with your deck. Talk about some of the good stuff, some of the bad stuff. Yeah, so we'll say uh, I went with our house rule. I drafted for the XR character I pulled. Yeah. Uh, Rikia is not the best character to draft for because you really want throws with him, but I was still able to... I managed to get four throws, which is good. Out of 40 cards, out that's of, not bad. Yeah, out of 40 cards, yeah. And, uh, you know, various other attacks, like point blank shot. If I get to play it with Rikia's uh, ability, it also becomes near unblockable, right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, same with, like, uh, I having a, a vital impact in there. Uh charges up his ability um so the attack lineup's not too bad it's not perfect it's not anywhere near what you would see in a constructed deck of rikia but it is good enough to win in this format are three of your throws fat grapple three of my throws are in fact fat yeah, grapple <laughs> uh beyond that the foundation lineup i was able to pull a ton of damage increases for those throws I was able to pull a ton of damage resets for the inevitable decus you're going to run into. Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, big Appetite works well for any five-hander. Heroic Assistance just is a good stun hate. And then this is the this is the coup de gras here, guys. These are just spams. The text on them does matter, but not as much as the big red number in the corner. Oh yeah, that's true. I did not pull as many of those. <laughs> <laughs> Grant Gooden. 
Tell us about your deck. Um, so I ended up drafting for Tabe. I pulled Fat Gum 1 in the first pack, and that's just real hard to draft for. Um, I did also have the opportunity to, um, to switch to Sir Nighteye. Decided to stick with Tabe because I think he's a lot of fun to play. Um, he's not keyword locked, so I didn't have to specifically search out throws or punches, things like that. Um, Attack-wise, we went mostly for the four diff attacks. Easy to play, easy to string. Um, little, a couple of different things. We've got um, a couple of attacks with flash. Don't give your opponent the opportunity to use any of their, those cool foundations they used. Um, got a couple of Rappa's attacks just because they're, they're pretty solid. Um, have to draft his face card. Yeah, Things like that. We've got two of them, so we're, we're happy with that. Um, most of the foundations are and are going to end up just being spams. Um, I would have liked to have gotten more of... Where did it go? Don't end up not putting it in there. Looking for a card. With Here's energy. Right? No, energy suction. Ah. Mm-hmm. Energy suction is just a really cool card that lets you heal after an attack does damage from card pool. Um, seems to be really, really good in this format. Did well in our event last week with it. Um, Foresight's pretty cool. Gives you the ability to look at the top of your deck, figure out is it going to be worth it to string out, is it not worth it to string out. Um, most of these are going to end up just turning to the right to pass checks, though. Um, yeah, and that works in this format just yeah. fine. We Became More does really nothing in this, and then we chose to go with one action and one asset. There we go. Yeah, and then uh, off to my deck, guys. My deck is nuts, as you can see. We drafted Deku, the boy himself. Uh, we were able to draft four of his common. That's like where my, me and Edgar have been talking about this the last couple nights. This is mine and Edgar's favorite part of the draft system is being able to legally play more than you were allowed to. Our pod, our three-man pod, where keep in mind most of you guys will play in a four-man pod or greater. So this pod was already smaller. Even still, our pod ripped five plummeting punch. Edgar, unfortunately, stole the fifth one from me. (laughs) But you can legally play five in your deck, and I think that is the best. We pulled Rewind Smash. We pulled Rare Card with my face on it. All of our attacks are the keywords that we're searching for, Punch or Fury. We did pretty good on our foundations with our face on it pulling three practical studies is insane pulling a single body rejuvenation is pretty nuts so yeah guys this is kind of how the format really ends up two out of the three man pod picked second draft picks for our character uh one of us had to one of us being me i wanted to show you guys how how easy it was how possible it is as I said in my sealed event, my deck actually is not this good. My deck was not this good in sealed. Rappa is locked to a keyword being punch, non-throw punch. I only had 9 out of 14 cards that had that keyword in that deck, where all 15 of my attacks have punch or fury. So I do believe that out of draft, you will, 9 times out of 10, end up making a better deck than what you will rip in sealed. Yep, yep. For sure. Oh yeah, this is way more solid of a deck than what I was playing in our sealed event. Yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. Please head over to your local game stores to sign up for these draft or sealed events. I'm not talking bad about draft at all. That that event is still super fun. There's It's great that both exist in the game now officially. There's different reasons. There's different ways to play this game. Mm-hmm. Sealed was super fun. You, you'll come up with combos that are actually not obtainable in Constructed, which yeah. is always a good time. But in Draft, I feel it's a little bit more competitive. You're building like a, a pseudo-constructed deck, and that can be fun as well. So really, guys, get out there, have fun. Play in every event you can. That's what we want to see. We want to see our community grow and thrive. Yeah, get these cards. Get these dope new cards. Catch me playing the boy in the major events. Hope you guys had fun. And check out more of our videos later. Thanks, guys. Bye.